A very good afternoon to both the classes, class 10th D as well as 10th A. Uh, so we are doing this chapter, the proposal, find a brief introduction and then we will continue uh, from the where we left. I'll be sharing the screen for that, okay? So uh, many students might be there who have missed some, uh, you can say lecture or they missed this chapter also. So that will be beneficial for 10th A as well. So please, it will be a revision for you. Uh, this chapter, the proposal, firstly, it is a, you can say, uh, play, fine, you know that it's a, a drama, it's a play in which characters are there, dialogues are there, fine. So basically, it is uh, written as a farce. Farce is a sub-genre of, you can say, uh, when we, you know, write any drama based on comedy or tragedy or different genres of English literature are there. So farce is one sub-genre of that uh, play in which uh, it is, uh, you can say, when satirical depiction of some issue of societal issue is there, fine, in a stupid way, you know, when we read the chapter where situations will be like that, they will be fighting on stupid things and when we see, okay, why this chapter is written? What sort of dialogues are there? We want people to understand. But actually this play, it, it is written as a farce. What is a farce? It's a comic dramatic work full of foolishness, but serious message for society, right? So this is a new way of teaching us, uh, not a new way, it has been uh, there since ages, like many writers have used farce as a way to commit, you can say, to depict the reality of the society. So when the reality of the society or any societal issue is depicted uh, in a very funny way, in a comic way, but actual message is hidden beneath, which we have to extract out of the chapter, that makes it a farce. So in your sample papers of CBSE, this question is there. Discuss proposal, discuss the proposal as farce, in which you should know what is a farce, okay? So after describing what farce is, you have to write that how this chapter proposal is a First, you have to write incidents based on this chapter only. So let me introduce the characters. We have, I will be using the second name only, Lobov. Clear, he is also one of the protagonists. Shubhakav, jo, uh, jo hai. Shubhakav is father of this Natalia, 25-year-old daughter. So who is Lobov? Lobov is also is a land owner. Clear, as well, Shubhakov is also a land owner. Both are rich, wealthy, fine uh, people. And Natalia is daughter of Stephen Shubukov. And uh, this chapter, why it is written, the theme of this chapter, what message it wants to give it to us? Tendency of wealthy families to seek rich matrimonial ties. That day we were discussing that all uh, these days when we open the newspapers, even till today, we see that, you know, uh, uh, rich is one trait. They want richness to be the very first prominent trait. Income source is mentioned, income in six figures, income in five figures, and a well-educated uh, boy. Uh, sometimes they have written own car, own coat, such sort of words are written in English even when you open the newspaper. So that, what does it depict? It depicts that to, to uh, you know, attract a relation, we are depicting our property. And, and you, we want equal, you can say rich people. So that's why we are putting it on the newspaper like that. Fine. So this is the true face of our reality. Even today, people, you know, when while finding a suitable girl or boy for their uh, kids, they want richness to be the foremost trait rather than matching up the minds and the nature and the, whether they have patience or whether they are well educated or not, just so they do not look at the face or the means they just overlook all other features where the person is rich and wealthy. Even today, this is there. Not in all the cases, but in most of the cases, we think like that. This is our society. Clear? So this chapter, when it was written many years ago, it also depicted tendency of wealthy families to seek rich matrimonial ties only. That if we are rich, we will also find rich. Fine? So that is one of the themes of this chapter. So uh, I would like to share my screen now. You can have the introduction part. Lobo wearing a formal dress enters the living room because it is the play in which exact location and even uh, things and living room or where the action is taking place, everything is depicted. You know, Lobo wearing a formal dress enters the living room of the mansion of 
Shubukov. So Shubukov ke ghar pe aaya hai Lobov and he is wearing a formal dress and both are neighbors and he is friend of Shubukov as well. Shubukov warmly accepts him, shakes hand and offers a seat. Lobov told Shubukov that he wants to marry Shubukov's daughter Natalia. Shubukov expresses his happiness and told Lobov to wait and assures him that she will accept his proposal. So, so easily he is accepting without even taking the consent of his daughter because he knows that Lobov is rich enough and when my daughter will be getting married to this rich boy, she will definitely be getting this estates in, uh, you can say, as being the wife of that person. So he is, you know, very easily he's accepting this thing. So this shows the reality of our society that how we become so you know, when we go to market to buy clothing and vegetables, even then we check the things for twice and thrice. And if we are going for the, you can say, marriage of our son or daughter, we are taking it so casually, so casually, right? So that shows that what sort of mindset people are having these days. So this, uh, he's interested in because he, what he thinks, he thinks that is girl, Natalia is average looking girl. So what is the, the notion, notion of this boy Lobo? He thinks that she's average looking girl, you know, but she can make a good, uh, she can be a good housewife. So by keeping that point in mind, as if he's doing a favor to her by getting married to her. And he's 35. He's uh, almost 10 years older than Natalia. And uh, even Natalia is of same bent of mind. She also thinks that getting married to a rich boy will be secure for her. But the problem is that all three of them, uh, Lobo, Shubukov, and Natalia, all three of them are, you can say, warm-headed personalities. They are so easily, they get angry and they heat into the arguments, easily provocable, you can say. The person can be provoked easily because all are having that high-headed personality above uh, themselves. You know, some people have high-headedness about their personality that we are so rich, we have all the amenities and we, you know, can say they keep on uh, bragging about their wealth and their brands they're wearing, the kind of cars they're using. So just why to show off to others, to show off to others to get the name him so that we can get equal, we can attract equal alliances. So this is, has become the part and parcel of our society. Even today, I feel so. Right, that um, theme is written, you can say this chapter was written many years ago, but it's still it is applicable nowadays. So this chapter is definitely going to teach us something. So we were reading the proposal uh, and we will be continuing, okay, because we have talked about Russian wedding, how, uh, you know, we have already read about this thing with how, what sort of uh, some norms are there some part of a wedding that how they celebrate this group has to win that girl by giving answers and by doing something for the other party and now we were here beta a drawing room shubukov's house we have already read that you know a drawing room is there and lobo enters wearing a dress jacket and white gloves shubukov rises to meet him so this is the meeting of both the characters both are rich wealthy affluent shubukov says my dear fellow whom do i see ivan vasilvich i'm extremely glad squeezes his hand now this is a surprise my darling how are you so shubukov see how he's talking to him by addressing him my darling and all so he is already showing his showering his love towards lobo lobo thank you and how may you be getting on. We just get along somehow, my angel. Thanks to our prayer, your prayers and so on. Sit down, please. Do now. You know you shouldn't forget all about uh, your neighbors, my darling, my dear fellow. Why are you so formal in your get-up, evening dress, gloves, and so on? Can you be going anywhere, my treasure? See, Shubukov. The way he is expressing his love, my darling, my treasure, my dear, and all that shows that how. A sugar coated words he has been using for Lomo because he also thinks uh, of Lomo the same way that he can get him married and he can get his estates and all, and he's rich enough to take care of my daughter. So he is talking that why you're wearing formal dress and dressed up in a very formal way. Uh, and Lomo, no, I have come only to see you honor Stephen, fine Stephenovich. So he's just using his full name and 
then why are you in evening dress my precious as if you are paying a new year's eve visit so again shubhakov stresses on his dress that why this is formal dress well you see it's like this so he wants to admit that he wants to say that that i actually want to marry your daughter i have come to you honor stephen stepanovich to trouble you with a request not once or twice have i already had the privilege of applying to you for help and you have always so to speak i must ask your pardon i'm getting excited i shall drink some water honor stephen stepanovich now i missed one uh, you know information here let me tell you about uh, uh, lomo lomo was having the problem of palpitations anybody from 10th a knows that uh, what sort of problem lomo was having if you can explain it for us 10th a has done this chapter they have just completed the reading so this is a kind of revision going on uh, if anybody knows that what was sort of problem lomo was going on already in his life any medical issue any health related issue you can just raise your hand and i'll admit you arshin uh, yes beta oh uh, lomo was actually suffering from the palpitations that he used to get excited and awfully upset at the same moment uh, and uh, and um, and most probably his lips started trembling and uh, and there was basically a twitch in his right hip Uh, I grow, so that's why he was getting these kind of palpitations. Okay, you can mute yourself. Wasting of heart, we due to excitedness, Pushy says. Okay, that's good. That's good that few of the students are responding. So you know, sometimes some people, you know, they are emotionally not stable, right? These you might have heard this word IQ, that is intelligent quotient. right but there there is a word eq level as well that is uh, you know our emotional quotient that a person should be smart enough to handle his emotions as well uska eq bhi aajkal acha hona chahiye logo ka so he was you know very nervous kind of person switching off uh, out of excitedness sometimes we are so over excited that we don't know how to react sometimes you know this is severity of emotions severity that when you are excited you will be too much excited when you are sad you will be too much sad and you won't able to be able to bear that emotion and your body starts you know showing that respond accordingly when when you are angry what happens your so there was some network issue beta please i guess my voice is clear to you all okay so it shows me that network is down so that's it so but uh, i was telling you about that how you know people have a lot of excitement and nervousness and how they are sometimes hands start trembling and shaking sometimes they they feel giddy and sometimes they even become unconscious and different sort of uh, problems are there the kind of emotion we go through our body responds to that the, the smarter kids these days who are confident enough they can handle their emotions but at the same time there are children you know you have you might have experienced while seeing the question paper you think that oh my god so tough question paper and suddenly you start feeling like a nervousness that nervous breakdown ki oh my god i'm going to you know faint and all so that is again one of the signs of nervous breakdown so in this he is having palpitations he gets so much excited for the things sometimes he got scared also so when he was about to talk about the girl natalya that he wants to get married he was became so excited and he wanted to drink water he wanted to you know calm himself uh he has come to borrow money shall not give him any what is it my beauty shubhakov is again having his apprehensions you see honored stephanich i beg pardon stephen on rich i mean i'm awfully excited as you will please notice in short you alone can help me though i don't deserve it of course and have not any right to count on your assistance who oh, don't go round and round and round darling so he says that please come to the point why are you beating about the bush you know why are you taking the things in a round way spit it out just spit it out just speak it well one moment this very minute the fact is i have come to ask the hand of your daughter natalia stepanovna in marriage so this is a russian name that's why they are having such name so he say, says that that he discusses he discloses 
his intention finally that i want to get married to your daughter natalia that's why i am i have come here so that's why now it is decoded to us why he was formally in a very formal way he was dressed up as you can see in this picture right so he becomes so happy about this already shubhupa was of same notion joyfully by joy why when vasil which say it again i didn't hear it all i have the honor to ask my dear fellow i'm so glad wo bol bhi nahi paya abhi pura again shubhupa was so excited again my dear fellow i'm so glad so on yes indeed and all that sort of thing embraces and kisses lomo i have been hoping for it for a long time it's been my continual desire and i have always loved you my angel as if you were my own son may god give you both his help and his love and so on and so much more what i am behaving in this idiotic way for i am off my balance with joy absolutely off my balance oh my all soul i go call natalia and all that so he becomes so excited super excited that was his inner most desire to get this boy for the match already suitable boy because he is a land owner also as like him and he has he owns a lot of property as well so he was so happy and super excited honored stephen uh do you think i may count on her consent so he thinks that should i wait for her consent oh, why of course my darling and as if he, she want consent she's in love she's like a love sick cat and so on shan't be long so shubhagov is on her behalf of his daughter he said this that she already in love with you because see by seeing the richness of the guy he is responding accordingly had it been some other poor guy he would not have said even yes or usko to andar bhi na aane deta apne ghar mein it's cold i'm trembling all over just as if i had got an examination before me to woh kehta jaise paper dekh ke kaapte hai na to i'm trembling like that so lomo was so excited you know that he was having palpitations already lomo was a super excited person and uh, due to that palpitations he is not able to handle this big news come as a shock to him he started trembling he was super excited to ye log hote hain jo na happiness bear kar pate hain na sadness any emotion is not bearable to them the people like low move the great thing is i must have my mind made up if i give myself time to think to hesitate to talk a lot to look for an ideal or for real love then i'll never get married but it's cold natalia Stepnova is an excellent housekeeper, not bad looking, well educated. No, he's not saying not bad looking. Means he's saying that she's average. See the way he's expressing. What more do I want? कहता ठीक है, she looks fine and she's well educated and uh, excellent housekeeper. But ठीक है मेरे को. But I'm getting a noise in my ears from excitement. You know, उसकी कान में आवाज आ रही है. He's not at all able to digest this news. it's impossible for me not to marry in the first place i am already 35 girl is 25 boy is 35 kehta this is the critical age so to speak so this is the marriageable age my first reason in the second place i ought to lead a quiet and regular life i even want a regular life now i suffer from palpitations here he is admitting it that i am excitable and always getting awfully upset so these heights of emotions heights of emotions and reactions come out of him at this very moment my lips are trembling and there is a twitch in my right eyebrow kya hota hai aise logo ko unke facial expression they start having uh, the sharp change in their facial expressions as well but the very worst of all is the way i sleep i no sooner get into bed and begin to go off but suddenly something in my left side gives a pull and i can feel it in my shoulder and head i jump up like a lunatic lunatic means mad person stupid person walk about a bit and lie down again but as soon as i begin to get off to sleep there is another pull and this may happen 20 times the talya comes in he is admitting it he is telling him that i already you know suffer from palpitations insomnia insomnia is the problem lack of sleep but exactly this is not insomnia it is the problem that he is having that out of excitedness out of nervousness out of extreme emotions his body reacts 
and when he goes to bed he sleeps within seconds and sometimes then he feels stretch in his, into his body or his shoulder and he gets up like a stupid person jaise pata nahi kya ho gaya usko and then another pull so his body reacts to his extreme emotion so this is the sub physical as well as mental problem so this is related to nerve your nervous you know your nerves brain nerves are related to your body well there it's you and papa said go there is a merchant come for his goods how do you do i went so kathik uh, yogi my father was saying that a merchant is come for goods and here you are how do you do order natalia you must excuse my apparent and you know neglige that the way she was you she has come in very casual so usne apparent dala hota when she comes we are shelling peas for dry so she was very much into the household work so she says we are just shelling peas for drying and why haven't you been here for such a long time sit down what do you have some lunch no thank you i have had some already then smoke talia says here are the matches the weather is splendid now but yesterday it was so wet that the workmen didn't do anything all day how much hay have you stacked just think i felt greedy and had a whole field cut and now i am not at all pleased about it because i am afraid my hay may rot i ought to have waited a bit but what's this why you are in evening dress well i never are you going to a ball ball means party though i must say you look better tell me why are you got up like that <coughs> so the talia tells him that she was working harder having the hay stacks cutting up that crop she was working harder that's why she's wearing that apron so yesterday there was no work because of the rainy weather and today it's a nice day she's working and why he's wearing the formal dress she asked lobo lobo said you see ordered the talia the fact is i have made up my mind to ask you to hear me out of course you will be surprised and perhaps even angry but it's awfully cold again phir baat usko kuch kar rahi again phir ghuma raha what's the matter well i shall try to be brief you must know ordered talia that i have long since my childhood in fact had the privilege of knowing your family my late aunt and her husband from whom as you know i inherited my land always had the greatest respect for your father and your late mother the lobovs and shubukovs have always had the most friendly and i might almost say the most affectionate regard for each other and now this time also directly he is not saying anything to her he is starting from how their family relations are so good how the it, he property he has inherited and how she uh, how he and his family had respect for her father and mother and how they have regarded and you know my land is a dear neighbor of yours you will remember that my oxen meadows touch your birch woods ab yahan pe they are going to talk about the land area he was supposed to tell her that i have come here to ask for marriage or marital alliances or matrimonial purpose i want to get married to you but he is not coming to the point he started from his uncles and aunts and property and his parents and all and here he has come he is talking about his land area oxen meadows so you know mera jo land area hai oxen meadows it touch your birch woods excuse my interrupting you you say my oxen meadows but are they yours as i already beta told you that these three lobo shubukov and the talia as well the barwan very much very minded number 2 a lot of you can say full of angry nature easily provocable right and they are obsessed with the materialistic things kuch log hote hain wo har cheez mein bolenge mera mobile meri ghadi mera ye mera wo all the time they are you know showing off the things they are lost into this materialistic world that obsession of possessiveness of things all three of them and and he is you know saying ki you know my oxen meadows wo kehte excuse me are these oxen meadows yours yes mine what are you talking about oxen meadows are ours not yours 
अब यहाँ पे अभी वो नतल्या को बता भी नहीं पाया था दैट ही वाई ही हेज कम हेयर शी स्टार्टेड arguing about oxen meadows please underline this name this is ours this place is ours no mind honored natalya well i never knew that before how do you make that out natalya kati how do you make it out means how do you say that it is yours you prove it how i am speaking of those oxen meadows which are wedged in between your birch woods and the burnt marsh exactly this is the place yes yes they are ours natalya says no they are mistaken or natalya they are mine just think i went how long have they been yours natalya kehti hai kab se you tell us how long as long as i can remember really you won't get me to believe that but you can't see from the documents or natalya oxen meadows it's true were once the subject of dispute but now everybody knows that they are one so you know uh, they have come to an argument that she says oxen meadows belong to her and them and he says oxen meadows belong to him and his property though there was a dispute amongst the people or a bit of the two families but now everybody knows he declares that it belongs to me you see my aunt's grandmother gave the free use of these meadows it perpetuity to the peasants of your father's grandfather to meri aunt de tumhare side ke relatives ko they have give it for the usage purpose in return for which they were to make bricks for her and they were making bricks in return the peasants belonging to your father's grandfather had the free use of meadows for 40 years and they became so habitual of using it they started regarding it ye kya hota hai jaise aajkal hota hai na ki koi property hai kisi ki suppose and they give it on rent to someone else and they have been using it for 40 years and after that they start you know the person who is on rent he start uh, assuming that this is my property in that way he saying he is proving his point ki asal mein to hamari property thi because they have used it for so long that's why they started regarding it their own no it is not at all like that both grandfather and great grandfather recorded that their land extended to burnt marsh mere grandfather ne aur grandfather ne mujhe bataya hai which means that oxen meadows were ours it was it is extended property i don't see what there is to argue about it's simply silly so she has declared that that property belongs to them i'll show you documents of talias I will show you the documents. Is it clear to you all? Tenth D, tenth D students, are you listening? Any doubt to anyone? Because tenth A has done this. Okay, tenth A students, are you listening, beta? Those who might not have attended any lecture, is it clear so far? Whatever we have read. Okay, I think it is clear to both the sections. let's see how far we'll be able to read so uh, that dispute is going on argument is going on between both of them who were they forgot about you know patrimonial issue they forgot natalya also forgot and lobov also forgot that what he was talking about getting married to and they are so obsessed about property so what is the top most priority that money that land that uh, becoming wealthy and rich is more important for them than finding the you can say mental match for the marriage you are simply joking or making fun of me what a surprise we have had the land for nearly 300 years and then we are suddenly told that it is not ours i mean i can hardly believe my own ears these meadows are not worth much to be they only come to 5 deciates they are worth perhaps 300 rubles but i can't stand unfairness say what you will i can't stand unfair so the talia is declaring that though they are not so costly but i am very fair you know whatever is ours remain ours well ho chuki hai beta i have to stop this meeting here i hope it's clear we will continue tomorrow have a nice day